Hello everyone, my name is Boko, thank you for coming. This is the mini course lesson uh, number six, destinations. Let's begin. Haide da počnemo. Travel, noun, putovanje. To travel, putovati. I am traveling, putujem. To come or to arrive, dolaziti or doci. To go, ichi. To leave, odlaziti or otici. Serbia, Serbia, Croatia, Hrvatska, Bosnia, Bosna. Montenegro, Crna Gora, America, America, England, Engleska, Russia, Rusia, Hospital, Bolnica, Hotel, Hotel, City, Grad, Cafe, Kafić, Cinema, Bioskop, Street, ulica, park, park, restaurant, restoran, store, prodavnica, school, škola, office, kancelaria, Belgrade, Beograd, niche, is the name of my hometown located in the south of Serbia. Anna is going to America. Anna ide u Ameriku. Anna ide u Ameriku. So this is the accusative case that we use in case of moving. So when we go or travel, uh, so moving toward a place. I am traveling to Serbia. Ja putujem u Srbiju. Ja putujem u Srbiju. Accusative case. Marko comes to the hospital. Marko dolazi u bolnicu. Marko dolazi u bolnicu. You leave for England. Ti odlaziš u Englesku. Ti odlaziš u Englesku. So again, uh, all of these are uh, the accusative case. You can see that the ending of these feminine words changes from a to u. Okay. Uh, let's continue. Masculine words don't change in accusative, right? This is all uh, connected to what we talked about earlier. Uh, so, names of cities and countries uh, or other locations are inanimate nouns. They're not people or animals. And they are masculine, so in the accusative case, they don't change. I go to Belgrade, idem u Beograd, idem u Beograd. Anna is coming to the cinema, Anna dolazi u bioskop, Anna dolazi u bioskop. They are traveling to Japan. Putuju u Japan. Putuju u Japan. Are you going to a hotel? Dali odlaziš u hotel. Dali odlaziš u hotel. Vacation odmor si more. Lake, jezero, 
countryside, selo, mountain, planina, beach, plaza, square, trg, downtown, center. We are going to the lake. Idemo na jezero. We do not use the preposition to in Serbian. We use in, u, or on, na. The problem is that you would have to learn by heart for which locations we use in and for which locations we use on. Uh, we uh, use u for cities and countries. Uh, so, idemo na jezero, literally, we are going on the lake. I am going to Bosnia, idem u Bosnu, literally, I am going in Bosnia. So, for a uh, locative case or uh, for a situation when you're at a place or in a place and in situations when you're going to a place, we would use the same prepositions in Serbian. We would use in or on. Idem u Bosnu. I am going to the store. Idem u prodavnicu. Idem u prodavnicu. Anna goes to the park. Anna ide u park. Anna ide u park. Marco goes to the university. Marco ide na fakultet. Marco ide na fakultet. They go to the airport. Oni idu na aerodrom. Oni idu na aerodrom. Are you going to the game? Dali ideš na utakmicu. Dali ideš na utakmicu. North, sever. South, jug, east, istok, west, zapad. These are the nouns, uh, but we also have the adjectives, of course. Uh, north, severni, severna, severno. Uh, three forms for three genders. South, južni, east, istočni, west, Zapadni. We are traveling south. Putujemo na jug. Putujemo na jug. Or putujemo južno, which sounds more like southbound, but nevertheless it is something that we use when you, when we say that we travel south. We are going to the seaside. Idemo na more. Idemo na more. Literally, we are going on the sea. Anna is going to work. Anna ide na posao. Anna ide na posao. Are we going to the countryside? Dali idemo na selo. Dali idemo na selo. Let's go to lunch. Hajdemo na ručak. Hajdemo na ručak. Want to go for a drink? Hoćeš na piće? Hoćeš na piće. Marko is going to a concert. Marco ide na koncert. Marco ide na koncert. I want to go to a party. Želim da idem na 
žurku. Želim da idem na žurku. Now, sad, or sada, or odmah. Today, danas. Tomorrow, sutra. Soon, uskoro. The day after tomorrow, preko sutra. Week, nedelja, month, mesec, year, godina. Next week, sledeće nedelje. Next month, sledećeg meseca. Next year, sledeće godine. I am going to Belgrade tomorrow. Sutra idem u Belgrad. This is the word order uh, that we prefer. So when we have, when there is an adverb in a sentence, we really like to put it first. Uh, we like to put it at the first uh, position or as the first word in a sentence. Sutra idem u Belgrad. Anna is traveling to the seaside next month. Anna putuje na more sledećeg meseca. This word order is also fine, grammatically correct, of course, sounds great. Uh, some people or uh, a lot of people would probably say sledećeg meseca Anna putuje na more. Either one is fine. Are you going to Montenegro next year? Dali ideš u Crnu Goru sledeće godine? So, of course, um, for a question as well, there could be an alternative. You could uh, say, Dali sledeće godine ideš u Crnu Goru? So, both options are great, sound great. Okay, let's go to the city today. Hajdemo u grad danas. Hajdemo u grad danas. Near, blizu. Far away, daleko. Inside, unutra. Here, ovde. There, tamo. Back, nazad. Outside, napolje. We are going inside soon. Idemo unutra uskoro. Idemo unutra uskoro. Is he going outside? Da li on ide napolje? Da li on ide napolje? Anna is not here. Uh, she is somewhere in the back. Anna nije ovde. Ona je negde nazad. Anna nije ovde. Ona je negde nazad. Are they far away now? Da li su oni sada daleko? Da li su oni sada daleko. Where are you going? Gde ideš? Gde ideš? I am going to school the day after tomorrow. Preko sutra idem u školu. This is the word order I was telling you about uh, that I think that we prefer. Uh, preko sutra idem u školu. All right. Thank you very much for watching. If you wish to have a live one-on-one -on -one lesson, you can find me on Italki. Hvala. Vidimo se. Ciao.